going on there, YouTube? Q back with Q Talks, and this one took me a while. The research for this one, almost about a year. Reason being, as you read on the title, I'm giving you guys my top five leather minimalist EDC wallets to carry. So there's only five. But right now, there's so many companies and so many local shops making them. It's kind of hard to pick just one, let alone five. But I'm going to give you guys my top five. So before I do that, I'm going to give you guys just a couple of honorable mentions. This one right here is a, the Turkey Foot Bobcat Minimalist Wallet. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. I believe they're on only on Instagram. But yeah, as you can see, very simple. Just you got a main pocket, mini pocket, reverse has a mini pocket as well. Very simple, very plain, but very nice wallet, but just didn't make the cut to make the list. So this next one is actually kind of hard for me to put on just a uh, uh, honorable mention because one of my buddies helped kind of make this for me. I had an idea of what I wanted or what I thought I wanted. So he made it, I carried it around, I loved it. But like I said, so many new wallets were coming out from different different makers that I wanted to try out. It kind of fell through. No, it's nothing against my buddy. He made an awesome wallet. This is the Traveling Man uh, EDC Bifold. So since it was a custom wallet made, he, uh, there's no name, but the company is The Traveling Man out of San Antonio, Texas. Very simple. So you have a pocket up here in the front that I wanted for quick access. Uh, usually my most used uh, debit card or my ID would go there. And then it would open up. You'd have a pocket for here. One pocket here, another pocket here, and then cash pockets. So you can fold them or if you want to just kind of bifold them and fold it up. Very simple, very minimalistic. I loved it. I carried this one for about three months. Um, so it will, like I said, I sent him a picture of kind of what I wanted or an idea. He kind of ran with it, measured out some cards, and this is what he came up with. And like I said, I loved it. Nothing against it, but it was just so many new wallets out there. Um, yeah, kind of sucks, but yeah, it's still really good. I'll throw the, his Instagram in there. Like I said, the traveling man wallet. Bifold. So yeah, these were the two uh, honorable mentions: Tricky Foot Leathers, uh, the Traveling Man uh, Leather Company out of San Antonio. But now we're gonna go ahead and get the deep dive in. We're gonna go up close with my top five wallets. So hope you guys enjoy it. Stick around. Hey, what's up, guys? One quick honorable mention that I forgot is this bad boy right here. This is a miscellaneous goods, Peter McKinnon uh wallet so this one as you can see is very simple very plain it is literally just like a dump pouch for a wallet just open this flap up right here and yeah miscellaneous goods pete's pirates life now this one claims to hold up to 15 to 25 wallets four inches by 2.5 so quick little honorable mention on this one forgot to put it in the beginning of the video but yeah Alright guys, so coming in at number 5 is the 107 Leatherworks Wallet. So this wallet, I was trying to get more information on it, but his website is currently closed. So I'm just going to try to remember. So this right here is the 107 Leather Wallet. You're going to have some hook and loop right here for your favorite uh, RE patches or anything like that then here's the inside you're gonna have a pocket here another one here a pocket here another one back here so a total of four slit pockets then you're gonna have space for pocket here or here as well oh i have some stuff in there but yeah so yeah, this is etro mano 107 this is actually made in south texas so a couple hours away from my hometown um so yeah this was i like carrying it it was just a little bigger than i thought but the fact that it had the hook and loop i thought was pretty cool so i decided to stick with it i used it for about a month and a half really liked it the leather is super soft to the touch a very good quality you can see some nice little patina going on right there 
Um, but yeah, this was the 107 Leatherworks Bifold Wallet. Very nice. Let's go to number four. All right, guys, coming in at number four is the Failsafe Switchback Wallet. So this one, I actually got it off when he was barely coming out with them. I think it was one of, I believe, 10 or 15. And then he started making a couple more. So this is the Switchback. He actually didn't even have a name for this one yet. He had a little contest on Instagram uh, for the best name, and they went with Switchback. I had uh, submitted one, but I forgot what it was called. But yeah, so this one is uh, called the Wild Moon. Uh, it's a uh, yeah Wild Moon Harvest. It's a nice brown, as you can tell the patina on it. Scratched it up. So right off the bat, you're gonna have pocket right here once again a quick easy pocket i usually kept my id or my most used debit card in here then you have another pocket up here for cash or whatever it may be to include a secondary up on top pocket so you can do cash more uh, debit cards or credit cards up here and then on the reverse side you still have another pocket so you have a total of one two three four pockets on this one as you can tell very slim super super slim uh i think i fit a total of maybe like eight cards in here it bulked it up just a little bit but not too too bad but yeah this is the fail safe if you guys are interested this one uh, came in at 60 dollars um uh with 15 so 75 to include the shipping but yeah very nice another soft leather very nice uh i don't remember the exact type of leather but the quality is amazing. Excuse me, I did scratch it up there quite a bit. But yeah, I did use this one for about another month and a half. Uh, I did like it. If you want to compare it to the 107, they're about they're about the same. So they're a little bulkier, a little bigger for EDC wallets, but they're still considered EDC. They fit in your front pocket just right. Um, so just I think this one was... Uh, it's about the same compare it maybe a little ch yeah a little chunkier because of the of the thickness of the leather but yeah the fail safe switchback wallet highly recommend it super soft really really like it um great great little edc minimalist wallet let's continue on to number three all right guys coming in at number three was actually one i was not expecting to like but ended up loving it everyone knows of open seas leather Everyone knows of the the quick draws, uh, the doobie, or I forgot what it's called, but one that kind of goes under the radar is this bad boy right here. This is Open Sea Leather Cam Plus. Yes, was not expecting to like it because it's not your usual uh, Open Seas that everyone usually carries, but this one was just a great great uh minimalist wallet so this one features three pockets you got one two three um and a cash strap so this one actually goes through so you actually put the cash right here and with the uh, the cards and everything else that you have in here will bulk it up and it actually doesn't fall through um it holds up to six cards and several bills. It's only made of two pieces of leather. And then the best part of it, they even have a little pocket right here. So actually it's four pockets. I think that's why this one's a plus. So you're gonna have card, card, more cards if you want. Your cash right here, like I say, it goes right through. And then I kept my ID right here on this one, cash there. But yeah, this one was, like I said, was such a great, great wallet. This one is on the smaller side. Uh, this one was the Italian uh, butter o leather. So you got it by 2.75 tall, 3.75 in, in, uh, in width or wide. So yeah, open seas. I, like I said, I don't think this, this wallet gets enough credit because this one really is very thin. Look at that. Of course, it's going to bulk up just a little bit when you carry uh, cards and cash in it. But yeah, this one, I loved it. I think this one I carried for about two months. Because, uh, like I said, I was surprised. I do have a quick draw that didn't make the list. 
only because th I honestly prefer this one because I do tend to carry cash sometimes. And this one's just perfect. Just slide the cash there. And I, I, you know, you can always keep track of it. If you lose it, you know, oh man, there's no money there. I got, it. I lost it somewhere, but yeah, I ended up picking this one over the, over the quick draw wallet, but yeah, this open seas leather, the cam plus very, very nice leather as always super soft the quality that you expect from open seas leather so yeah real good now let's go top two guys we're going in we're going in the top two let's do it all right guys coming in at number two this one's gonna be to no surprise this one is the rustic heirloom hitchhiker wallet this one you've probably seen all around uh instagram youtube it's been hitting the market pretty big. This is in the olive drab green. So as you can see, you're going to have a button right here, two pockets, throw in money, receipts in this one, and your card wallet right here on this one. So yeah, sorry about the focusing. But yeah, the Rustic Heirloom Hitchhiker Wallet. Super, super minimal. As you can see, I mean, I don't think it can get any more minimal than that. Comes with the lanyard. I just threw this little bead right there. I think it's a lost at sea bead. But yeah, this one is awesome. I loved it. I carried this one around for about two months. Um, I mean, there's not much to say. Uh, it's cut, burnished, and saddled stitched by hand in North Carolina. Got the single snap closure. Yeah. So, receipts, cash. Keep your cards nice and nice and secured in here. But yeah, the Rustic Heirloom Hitchhiker. They, I know I've seen a couple different colors. I've seen this one in a, in a black, brown. They got a couple different color waves on there. But yeah, this one right here is a really good one. Cool. So let's go ahead and go into my number one. All right, guys. So my number one wallet leather edc minimalist wallet is going to be this bad boy this is the redeemed creations the slider this one's made out of premium horn ween dublin leather this wallet's built to last and will look better with age so this one is newer and man i wish you can feel the softness of this leather so good made out of horween dublin so you're going to have two card slots up here in the front. You got one, two. Then you're going to have another one where you can throw cash in, receipts. And then I keep my ID here so you can just slide. Get it? The slide. <laughs> Damn. But yeah. So this one is a newer wallet. Uh, I've, been, I've been seeing a few more reviews on this one out on YouTube and Instagram. But yeah, man. If you guys can get your hand on this one. It is awesome. This one is set to hold six to nine cards. More of you stretch it out a bit. And uh, some folded bills that go in here. But yeah. Um, you can tuck your, your ID right here, which is pretty much what it is. Quick access. But yeah. This is the Redeem Creations. Slider. Let me get a focus right there. Beautiful, beautiful wallet. So yeah, guys. Those are my top five EDC minimalist leather wallets so you guys are interested i'll throw links in the description down below for all of them so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you all so much and i'll catch you around next time peace